I'm just getting ready to take the uh, TRX4 Sport out for a trail test. It just occurred to show you something I've done on various models in the past. So I've stuck a small magnet, just a small rare earth magnet underneath the body. And that way, I don't lose my body clips. Anyway, we'll get this on the trail. We'll see how it goes. The suspension is super plush. It doesn't articulate anywhere near as much as the Sendero or even as much as the Gen 8 V2. The Sport is a lot heavier than both of these as well. But somehow it all just works. Where other lighter trucks get hung up without portals or scrabble for traction due to insufficient contact through the tyres, the TRX4 Sport is just not bothered by the same obstacles. As well as its impressive trail manners, it just looks really, really good. Your choice of paint will play some part, but the nature of this body and the nature of Lexan paints is such that unless it's an absolute disaster, the Sport is just going to look fantastic on the trails. Another benefit of doing the kit rather than buying the RTR is that you get to put your own electronics in. This rig is silent on the trails just about in comparison to the stock Traxxas electronics. There's no horrid high pitch whine from the motor because of the ESC. The servo is strong and consistent throughout. It really just adds to the pleasure of driving this thing on the trails. While the last review, part two, if you haven't seen it, linked below, while that was about the crawling ability, the trail element of my review is more about fun. There is uh, the element of performance, of course, and as I said, it doesn't get hung up like many other trucks do, particularly if you look at the moss that this thing's going over on the roots of this tree, for example, where other trucks might have scrabbled. But the, uh, the fun factor, it's partly helped by the extra jazzy stuff you get that hangs off the body, uh, which helps kind of make it feel special, and it also helps with the suspension of disbelief. Um, you really can just play little trucks. But it is just a fun, solid performer. I really, really like this model. I'm so glad I bought it because if I wasn't doing this channel, I actually probably would have missed it. I already have a couple of TRX4s, but um, I never really gave the Sport a closer look. But I tell you what, I'm so glad I did. Now I can say I've given it a proper trail run. And here's the beauty of this magnet I was telling you about. They're stuck there, I'm not going to lose them. No uh, wheel wells on this truck. There is a bit of splashback, we've gotten a bit wet today. That's okay, I'll clean this thing up. I'll need to air out the uh, tyres as well, of course. I, these, these wheels are the uh, Sendero wheels, they are vented. So I've got some uh, cleaning and drying to do, but that's okay. I've um, got the 1080 ESC, of course, it's waterproof, so that's fine. This thing really impressed. So. What I really uh, wanted to see today was how good this thing was on the trail. I've said this in my first review, this is my third TRX4, and I know they're generally good, but I didn't know anything about the Sport as far as performance went. It is essentially the same beast as the, uh, the full fat models, just without the extra whiz-bangery of the servos and whatnot. <laughs> this truck presents a bit of a problem for the rest of the other trucks because it's just so capable on the rocks and so composed on the trail. If you could only have one truck, uh, the TRX4 Sport kit is a very compelling option. If you're more biased towards crawling, definitely the Sendero is a worthy contender and I'm looking forward to seeing how far we can take both of those trucks within a reasonable budget with performance. As far as the trail truck goes, you'd be hard pressed to beat the Sport kit for value for money. You get the satisfaction of building it yourself it is a fairly straightforward, pain-free process. So even if you've never done a model before, I would class this as reasonably easy. The, the instructions are really good. For today, the, uh, the TRX4 Sport, <laughs> it, uh, it gets my mark of approval. That was a lot of fun, just getting that out in the mud and the water and up and through the grass and all the rest of it. Uh, I could do this all day. It really was quite enjoyable. Stay tuned for more comparisons now with these models because we've got a fairly good subset, but as far as the uh, class two out of the box crawlers and kits, we now have a good subset. So now it's time to compare them 
some more we're going to look at um, some basic mods um, performance trail etc just to see how well rounded a truck we can make while keeping as much performance as possible and still really enjoying this scale side of the hobby so that's what's coming next thank you so much for joining me for the third part of the trx 4 sport review highly recommend it it was a great truck and i'll catch you next time